Um, very similar. We played Argentina um, first up at 2.15 and it was a Southern Hemisphere team, played each other a lot. Um, so that uh, awareness of what's coming is not a surprise, but uh, obviously the magnitude of the game, the excitement around it, um, it's there. Um, we've been here a week or so already. It's all talk about, we've all been prepping to get to Saturday. And yeah, I'm just really glad it's finally here this a test week. Uh, we got flogged a bit last week, so it's really nice to be able to get into that um, game prep week. So we've got a bit of normality back. There's not extra fitness hits, there's not extra gyms, there's not extra bikes for, oh, well, you guys look fresh, let's go. It's more, what do you need to do? Build the week, trust your plan, trust the training. and um, Yeah, but obviously the it's another level because it's South Africa game one, and um, we know how big that's going to be. Well, coming from uh, Dunedin, it's, it's way different. <laughs> um, before we left uh, Auckland and to come to Japan, I was I did my last running session in a tracksuit, beanie, and hoodie. So it's vastly different to here to having cold towels, um, slushies on the way to trainings to get hydrated, and all these plans our medical team and um, our support team are doing to help us. But as we said, the work we've done in uh, Kashiwa was great and today was our first training since our first day arriving in the sun again and it wasn't too hot, but I think the work we did last week really helped. Aaron, you get pretty excited at the best of times just as if you had to control yourself at a, at a World Cup this time around. No, I get excited around the opportunity to play, um, but the, I don't want to, I, I don't, I've done it in the past where maybe I played the game Tuesday, Thursday and got to Saturday and overthought it or overdid it. So just definitely, especially with the weather, how hot it is, just trying to build through training. It's been a big focus for us leaders and driving for our team around, just build the week, lead the way in that, lead the way in that example. And um, so yeah, nailing the recovery, hydration, all those little things, getting your weight right, all those things add up to a really good performance Saturday and trying to treat it as a, as much as a normal test week as possible. And um, But definitely as you sit on the bus on the way home, as you before you go to sleep, you know that you've got to get to that place on Saturday where you're ready to go. And um, So yeah, I think learning from 2.15, I know that what's coming Saturday and I know where I need to get to. It doesn't mean I have to play the game today, tomorrow. In my head. Do you find that you know, when there is that much heat and that is that intense and you've got so much going on and such a big week that you feel a fall asleep on the bus that you get to the end of the day and you, you can't get an hour early? Well, no one's falling asleep on the bus, the music's that good. <laughs> um, but yeah, nah. Um, we do a lot of mental work. Uh, we put a lot of emphasis on your own mental prep. And um, I think we get into a really good place where. You're able to be you, you're able to do your own thing. It's really great here that they just do, we do a lot of things together, but yeah. I don't want to dive into too much around our mental game, but we all have individual plans, like I said, about making sure come game time we're right where we need to be. You're not flat, you're not too intense, you're ready to go. Ben, Yeah, so I think it's important that we see that. And yeah, they do, uh, their wingers um, take a bit of punt, a bit of a punt sometimes um, in the way that they defend. But um, yeah, again, I don't want to give too much away, but we've got a, um, a, you know, a way around that, we think. And um, we've been training that. And um, yeah, it is, a, it is a bit of a gamble. Like if, they, if they do it right, then they can shut down our attack. But... Um, if we can execute our plans that we're going to put in place, then um, that'll give us opportunity as well. It's kind of tantalising in that way. You see a space out wide. I think yeah. it's maybe the Brian Kano try in 2015 where there was that space out. Yeah, so it's just a matter of um, yeah e executing. And um, also it'll be interesting to see what the, the weather conditions are, are doing on um, Saturday as well. So it's it's preparing for both of those. Is there any surprise in that? 
Well, that's what they've sort of... That's, that's, that is their game, so I don't think there's a lot of surprise in that. Um, they do it really well, and I think for us as a team, it's um, being aware of that, um, taking that challenge on. If they want to put um, the likes of high balls up, it's, uh, yeah, it's just executing our plans around that and, um, yeah, and being comfortable with it. Oh, I just love playing footy. I, I enjoyed getting out there um, against uh, Tonga and um, being able to do a job for the team. So, um, yeah, it was obviously, um, for me, it was, it was good to get out there and, um, and challenge myself and, and be out, back out there playing footy. Did you have confidence? Nah I've, always, nah, I've always believed in my ability and what I can do and getting out there and I always back myself to get out there and do a good job. So, um, no, nah, there's never any any doubt there. So why do you think you chose to see that you chose to relate to confidence? Um, yeah, you might have to ask Steve on that one. I, I always trust myself to get out there and, and do a good job for the team. And, um, I, I, yeah, there was I could have been doing things a bit better, definitely, but I always trust myself to get out there and, and do a good job. Are you clear on the goal at this World Cup? Obviously, last World Cup, you're starting fullback this time. Big wing, fullback bench, are you clear on your role? Oh, I just want to do a, a good job, whatever that role is. So, um, yeah, I'm, I'm excited about this World Cup, just like um, Nug said before about everything kicking off, and it's important that we build our week. But, yeah, that's in my preparation. As Nug said, it's making sure that in my preparation I'm, um, you know, preparing for a, a lot of different um, situations and scenarios. So I think that's, as players, that's all we can do is, is be really good at um, nailing our preparation. Uh, did we review Tonga? That's the question. So, <laughs> no. So you reviewed South Africa. You reviewed South Africa game for one. Yep. Okay. What aspects in particular did you focus on? No, just what we said around before. Obviously, they've come out and said their stuff around their defensive plan. And um, that's very obvious. The last uh, two times we've played them, they've had a real plan around their kicking game and filling the field with extra numbers. But, um, you know, our performances in Wellington and our lessons we've learnt from Perth, I think we're sitting in good stead to put a performance out there we can hopefully be proud of. And um, that's all we can do. Take the learnings, take the pitches they've given us in the past. And the stuff they did against Japan still finds that similar mould in their defensive plan and kicking plan. Because they said they were going to review the South African game. Did you ask them to stop the video? Of the <laughs> <laughs> no, you got to, yeah, there was a couple of clips of both of us where, but um, as All Blacks, you've got to be able to take the good with the bad. And, um, yeah, they're not trying to pin just you out. But, uh, yeah, I think it got to a point just where it was ugly. So. Last half of the game, you, you said, oh, you should have jumped higher, or you reckon you weren't going to jump, otherwise Peter stepped the toilet and going to smoke you. Yeah, I just but, said, I wish I'd jumped. Decision, decision again, are you going to let Peter step, smoke you at this time? Oh, for sure. Yeah, I'll give him my ribs, <laughs> too. So. <laughs> now, I had the similar uh, with Guinea chipper against us in Auckland, and it was the same thing, a bit too far. I couldn't catch it, but I was way ready for just take the hit, make sure I got the ball, and um, a lesson well learnt, and... Um, yeah, any chip, chip chases, I put my body on the line for the team if I'm available to do that and never scared to, well, this time I won't be scared to put my body on the line for it. I got to what you said earlier with regards to getting your weight right. Has it been a little bit harder, you noticing when you get on the scales that maybe because of the head there's a few extra kgs off that maybe there wouldn't normally be? Is that what you're alluding to there, Yeah, just getting it back up, eh? It's just that, yeah, nailing our recovery, getting water back on board, electrolytes, that kind of thing, just to, to keep your weight right is important after trainings and that, yeah. Um, one's tall and Richie's a bit shorter, so the passing zone's different. It's, that's a big thing for the nine. Um, Bowden quite, stands quite upright when he catches it and Richie's sort of lower 
and he likes it kind of at him more. So that's the differences for me. It's quite technical, but um, it's quite important. And um, yeah, they're both loud, very dominant tens, and I like that. I just like to be told what to do and who to hit and where we're going. And um, they're both great game directors, and if they're both out there, it helps. And if one's out there, they usually do that too. Oh, as I'm coming into Iraq, always focusing on the same way first, and then listening for an overcall. So it's pretty simple. I'm not going in there thinking which way, I'm sort of whatever way I'm going. I'm, I've got a plan of looking at what I need to see, which is close to the ruck, listening to who I'm supposed to hit, and if there's an overcall, reacting to that. So uh, it's pretty simple. Ooh. <laughs> you go first. <laughs> is it so? As a team, what's our strength? Oh, as a team, or as, as, as your as personal? Personally, what's oh. the key attribute? Um, <laughs> I, yeah, yeah, I suppose I'll do Aaron because I feel a bit more comfortable. Um, I would say Aaron's speed of pass. So. Um, yeah, just allowing the back line to have heaps of time by the way that he can um, get it out. And um, oh, I think he's a pretty solid uh, kicking game, uh, the way that he can mix that up. And This is a great question. <laughs> and, I waited 10 years for this. Yeah, awesome. and he, yeah, I, I just think he's a smart footy player, so that, that holds our team in good stead. Yeah. <laughs> oh, ben Smith, no, you're a great man. Um, it's like a cancelling session. <laughs> yeah, this publicly. Yeah. <laughs> no, um, I, um, ben just strengths uh, his ability to um, create opportunities for others, but also himself. Um, he's an X Factor player. You sort of don't know what he's going to be able to do. He can do anything on the field. Um, one of the best open field runners I've seen. And uh, anytime he gets a half break, you get really excited. Plus his uh, leadership is, uh, is a big strength behind the scenes. Uh, he's a leader through actions and, um, yeah. Thanks, Snug. Before the tournament, there was quite a bit of movement around the Ruck and the Ruck Club. Yeah. Um, what sort of edit by that? Um, our manager just tells us each hotel We've got like an onsen at every hotel or a spa, and um, in Kashiwa that spa was a public one, so we had to wear ski skivvies or tights, and that's okay. This is um, we're in Japan. We've got to embrace their their way, their culture, and um, us people with tattoos were happy to cover up. Um, it was only this hotel don't mind, um, but yeah, every hotel we go to, we get a little message around that. Um, the only other thing that's similar around the tattoos is shoes. The gym we're going to today, we've got to take indoor shoes and carry the ones you walk to the gym in, you can't wear in the gym, so that's the only things. But we just got to respect that and adapt as All Blacks. We're grateful to be here and we don't want to act like we're anything bigger than we are. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Well, that was lovely. <laughs> Thank you.